Good morning, everybody. It's just me again. Val is um, not well. She's very depressed is what she is. She's basically taken a Xanax and gone to sleep. Um, uh, I don't know if it's because the medication is not quite working right or if she's just upset with the situation that we're having, which is typical right now. It's, uh, we have absolutely no money. We were uh, so sure we were going to be able to go to uh, Universal Studios Horror Nights, but we have zero dollars. We had to really scrape money together just to put gas in my truck right now. So I had to go get some medication for her and uh, between that and the gasoline, I've got 20 cents in the bank right now. We were attempting to sell some furniture. Uh, we had somebody who seemed interested, but then they uh, uh, backed out on us, so that, that didn't happen. Uh, right now, I'm on my way to the uh, um, storage unit, because John is coming over tomorrow to pick up all his stuff. And I put some of it into the storage unit to try to make room for myself in the garage. And I don't want to have to be going back and forth tomorrow with the truck or whatever it is he's bringing. I just want, I'm going to right now bring it all to the front of our house and just put it there, put it in if there's room. Um, other thing that I'm going to have to do is uh, uh, sometime this week more than likely. Um, take everything back out of the storage unit because we can't afford it anymore. So, um, the largest thing in there, of course, is the bar, and that's going to get borrowed for uh, for all of October, hopefully. And um, well, we'll find stuff for everything. We uh, we had gotten the storage unit in order to make room, first of all, for me to work in the front room finish the floor and the painting and just get, have stuff out of the way and we wanted to put as much in there as possible to make the house presentable for sale and um, but now we're trying to hold on to the house because uh, everything that we've tried to um, to move on has uh, has failed so try probably the best thing to do right now is to try and hold on to the house. We own a house. Uh, the values of real estate is dropping now. Um, so if we sold it now, we'd have, we'd clear enough money to pay off our bills, which is great. But then uh, we'd be pretty much homeless. And um, just, just trying to um, get this business going. Um, I was hoping to have a, a job last, last Monday, it turned out to be this Monday, uh, so I didn't have any income this week. We had a couple other people call in and uh, for work, one of them, they kind of puts out on us and that seems to be kind of normal, very strangely normal. We, um, uh, through this home advisor, We'd get a lead, we'd call, they hem and haw. Uh, we quote them a price which I guarantee you is less than most people's, less than probably everybody because we're just trying to get business. I'm trying to get money. And uh, they consider it too much and we never hear from them again. Sometimes we hear from them a month later, which is what the job that's on Monday is a paint job that we quoted last month. We are pretty much sure we didn't get it even though we quoted pretty low and then just out of the blue they said come and do it so so that's where we stand Val is probably going to pretty much um, sleep the entire day and um, I'm going to be moving stuff and uh, reorganizing the garage Alright, so here I am in my 
spooky, spooky storage facility. And all the stuff in the front here belongs to Nikki and John. I need to pull this all out. And uh, again, I brought these because I don't have them any help. This trip is just gonna be boxes. And, uh, the last trip is going to be trampoline. Trampoline's pain because it's it's just a big sloppy mess. So I hope it all works out. Okay, so I am done for the day. All of Nikki and John's stuff is back in the garage along with all of my stuff. I was gonna pull the trampoline out of the truck, but I am too tired and I don't see the point at this point. Just come out and go right into the big truck. So, close this up, check in on Valerie, see how she's doing. And that's it for me. today all right everybody so this is it for today Val is still very much asleep she's been sleeping pretty much all day I hope she's feeling better tomorrow because EJ Giggy sent us enough money to go to Universal Studios tomorrow so I'm hoping that she feels well enough to do that uh, and um, Maybe and hopefully John uh, will get here soon enough that we can uh, load the truck and take him with us. That would be pretty awesome. And uh, we'll need to talk to um, Kirsty, who is who wanted to go with us. And we had already told her that uh, we weren't going, but uh, this has changed everything. So thank you so very much, Jay Giggy. That um, was such a, a wonderful gift, and um, hopefully we'll be able to do it. And, uh, and hopefully Val's going to feel well enough to do it, basically. So I'm ready for um, John tomorrow. And, um, and Monday I have to work, so it's going to be a rough weekend. I already had a pretty, pretty uh, tiring day today. I'll have one again tomorrow because I'll be loading a truck. Then we'll be going to Universal Studios, hopefully, cross my fingers. And then I have to get up early Monday to paint so and then Tuesday and possibly Wednesday before this is kind of a long job but we'll have money that's good hopefully we'll have more stuff coming in today I actually went and uh, quoted the job for some um, uh, ceiling fan installation so hopefully that comes through quickly because he has to buy them before I can install them but uh, yeah I'm uh, 
I'm hoping um, that we're going to have a good weekend. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked something you saw. If uh, you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Leave a message. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Right, boom, boom.